Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Oaks, Pennsylvania, here at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center. Not in Philadelphia, but the Greater Philadelphia region. The uh, Expo Center that's in Philadelphia is known as the Pennsylvania Expo Center. So that's a quick lesson here on the Expo Center situation here in the Philadelphia area. But today, today we are here for the Oddities and Curiosities Expo. It's been some time since I've been to one. I, I, I do try to go to a couple of these a year. Um, early this year, it was about five months ago, went to both Atlanta, Georgia and Charlotte, North Carolina. So I always try to kind of see if, the, if they're happening, where I'm going to be. And I was going to be in the area here, so we figured we'd check out the uh, Philadelphia Oddities and Curiosities Expo. Of course, selling all sorts of oddities, taxidermies, strange art, all sorts of fun stuff that we can uh, we can look for in here. And you will see, maybe, maybe I'll make a purchase for my home. We'll just see if anything really speaks to me. So uh, please follow me. Now the Oddities and Curiosities Expo has grown over the years. Um, you know, they usually had a handful of shows. Now it's really picked up where they're traveling all over the whole country. So I've missed quite a few. Hard to, it's hard to, you know, hard to time them out and be at, in the certain cities when they're happening. But I do try to make as many as I can. Of course, we're here at the Philadelphia show. We'll see if it's possible. I don't know if I'm gonna be in any of these locations on these dates. So this may end up being the last uh, last stop of the year. All right, and here we go. Look at all the vendors out here on the floor. All right, been joined by Jen today. Hi. Hey. Hi. Yeah, just uh, Jen drove in last night. I Wanted did. to uh, do the Oddities Expo. My Ten-hour drive. You excited? You looking for anything in particular? Um, maybe a brother for my moose. A brother for your moose. You or want more sister. moose? Yes, we're gonna have like a. Whole family. Thank you, family. Look. Also joined by Jen's sister Carrie <laughs> today. Hi. This is your first Oddities Expo, right? It is. Yeah. You looking for anything in particular? Um, I'm looking for art prints that are associated with like old timey sideshows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That's right up here. So, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. see what I can find. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go see. Let's go see what's going on in here. Yay! Yay. <laughs> There's like two full expo rooms here. Seems like this is a relatively large. Uh, Relatively large expo. Check out some of the vendors here. We have black alligator curiosities. Big bear head there. I think that's a bear head. And then that is a bear skull. I like how the otter here has an official name tag. And what the heck is going on here? There's a baby leading a choir of dogs called the 666 Trio. The dogs are all barking six, like 666. Six, six. I guess this is trying to sell 666 six, six tablets. Yeah, this is the 666 medication. They're actually selling, I, they sold this up to like the early 2000s. Surprising that uh, that name stayed in business for so long. We have Corpse Pimp over here. Some great, some truly great stuff. Oh, look at this. I think it's like a dental model. With like skin on it. Oh, look at this, like a fortune telling raccoon. Let's do a little witch laugh there. Look at this little dancing rabbit. Little dancing rabbit doll. That is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> look at it go. Look at this dog toy here, this little dog gun. That's fun. Oh, I love this creature here. Almost like a fur-bearing trout with feet and antlers. Little taxidermied heads there. I do love the little Little baby jackal up there. These little underdeveloped antlers. These are animal animal death masks there. It's a, a bear. There's a big Komodo dragon there as well. Oh look at that. A little 
little possum uh, death mask there. A creepy kawaii here. They have these uh, cute little moth creatures. And I think this one's new. I don't think I've seen the, uh, the little frog with the witch hat there. Yeah, look how grumpy these frogs look. Deviant dolls here. They make these custom-made dolls. And they are, uh, they are each one is an individual work of art. They don't mass produce any or make the same ones. Every doll is completely unique. See the demon, the demon doll right there. You can see all the different deviant dolls there. It's the rainbow doll. Have the uh, bearded lady. There is a cousin it. I feel like the Adams family has become very popular in, uh, in recent years. The uh, three-headed baby there. It's the golden sickle here. It's these real cool um, coffin-shaped shelving. I actually have some coffin-shaped shelving at the house, but this is very, uh, very unique. You can see with the shining carpeting there. And then look at these, these uh, fluffy pink fluffy pink caskets here. Ghost of the Woods here, these really cool pieces of art. I really love this one here with the, uh, the Wolpertinger in the jar. Yeah, look at all this here, all the different things in jars. The jackalope over there, octopus. I love all these things in jars. Of course we got Mothman right there. Baphomet. So here on the table, I love this mysterious creature. It's been made into a rug. Our Skull Butter Studios here. And look at, uh, yeah, look at these masks here. I love that, that color, the way the colors are combined there. And look at this cool cat face there. Mad Hatter creations here. The different yard gnomes, different sadistic yard gnomes. Yeah, look at these little candle faces there. These pumpkins with the mouths. Oh, I do like that little shrunken head there. Look how terrifying this uh, this light switch cover is. The gaping mouth there. Somewhat terrifying, uh, Cat in the Hat, and Thing One and Thing Two. Yeah, these are fun little, fun little creatures here. Well, these ones are called box lickers because they're inside the glass, licking, licking the inside of their case. All right, now I'm gonna place the cigar that's in my mouth. with the hopes that the playing card will spin with the stick. Here we go, are you ready? So balancing a spinning plate on a, on a playing card, on a cigar in his mouth. Sword in the stinus. So you can have tiny, we got a little tiny bit further little, down. Now the go all the way down up to go my knees and you Tiny little sword out. in his nose. You got it, Stephanie. <laughs> Three, you know, come on, make some noise! It's the art of Joseph Richia here. These purses, it's a <laughs> terrifying lawn purse there. And some wonderful zombified heads. Oh, look at that little, that little ice cream sundae there. Oh, look at these zombie, zombie heads here. I like this one with the, with the dangly jaw. Here at Decadent Decay, we have this here. This is labeled as the Hellhound. Apparently, at one point in its existence, this was a, it's a little fox. I guess that's what it looks like when you, uh, when you shave a fox. This is Sister Sinister Effects, and that is one of the, one of the most horrifying goat heads I've ever seen 
in my life. Oh look, he's giving out uh, giving out <laughs> business cards there. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the little baby. This is taxidermy auction here. Some interesting stuff. You can get half a zebra for 2,000. I guess a full zebra would probably be running around 4,000. There's the baby giraffe here. And you can see the size differential between the baby giraffe and the full size giraffe right there. Got some pretty unique taxidermied animals like the African gray parrot there. It's a baby alpaca. I love the colors on this parrot here. And look at the look at the penguin. It says, "Do not pet, I bite." Oh my I love the variety of taxidermy. You have the kind of the straightforward taxidermy that we just saw, and then you have here at Thrash Rod it is more of the artistic taxidermy here. Now look down here. We have this beautiful possum bouquet. The drunk squirrel there. And then this mink has had a few too many BLs. Oh, look at that. The pole dancing uh, squirrel wearing a witch hat. This is Hillary the fox here. And uh, Charlie the coyote. This is Abby Normal's Museum of the Strange here. I love uh, these jackalopes. I mean, check this out here. This is a, like a Jacob sheep jackalope with the four horns. And this one's got kind of the different style of horns as well. Yeah, check out all these birds here. The doves, the pigeon. And uh, oh my, look at that down there. A little, a little taxidermy cat head. I, I've said before, I think, I think for some reason cat heads, cat heads are hard to get right when it comes to taxidermy. And amongst all these skulls here, we have a symbol monkey, which for some reason still is the most terrifying thing on planet Earth to me. The roadkill slap bracelets here. These slap bracelets are like are like little weasels. Let's try out this slap bracelet here. There we go. <laughs> we living biohazard here. Some very uh, very interesting. Plushies. Oh, look at this. Bloody, bloody cow here. Oh, yeah, it says these are all original designs. You like this bat back here. And, ch and check out some of these. The big gaping mouths. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at this horse. Look at that horse. Pickled Punk has these really cute sideshow banners. They also sell t shirts. They own quite a few of these shirts here. And then the brand new, yes, the brand new Mothman shirt, the Halloween Shutter Show. The Mothman there, looming over these unfortunate trick or treaters. Yeah, always a lot of fun stuff here. I like the uh, the Mer Pug. Yes, different breeds of dogs there. The Rotty Corn, the Rottweiler Unicorn. The retriever actually retrieved a UFO. And have you ever seen such an adorable Wendigo? <laughs> oh, the water bear. That's pretty. That's pretty clever. What's it? What are the real water, water bears called? They have a, forget their scientific name. They're like an indestructible microscopic animal. But this one's actually a bear. This is Retro Revolution here, and they have ancient Egyptian mummy chunks for sale. These are different pieces. Of Egyptian mummies. It's an Egyptian mummy vertebrae, Egyptian mummy atlas bone. There's a Egyptian mummy big toe. Oh my gosh. There's a baby mummy's foot. And this is a Victorian paper mache candy bowl. I thought this was a real skull when I first looked at it. This is a bronze doll head mold. It's a mold that would have been used for making doll heads. This mummy, uh, this mummy Ouija board here. This is a uh, Victorian plague doctor <laughs> doll. I'm glad the doctors don't still dress like this. At the monsterologist booth, and uh, I showed the other day at my house. I have some of these hanging up. I have uh, the Skinwalker Ranch is hanging up my house. 
I've got the uh, Area 51, and uh, yeah, some other here, some other cool. I like that Roswell one. And then they have the different cryptids with uh, the cities that they're from. The Flatwoods monster there. Yeah, I, might, I might get some of the more of these at some point. I really, really do love them. Matthew Lineham here. It's a real cool, uh, real cool uh, pennants. I, I really like pennants for some reason. Well, look at that. <laughs> Come to the Midsummer Festival where they will uh, sew you inside of a bear. Look at that, the, uh, the boo buckets, the infamous boo buckets. Old gold antiques here. The uh, deer there with the mohawk kind of caught my eye. Look at this, the surfing muskrat automaton. So you see the muskrat there wearing his Hawaiian shirt. He's on a surfboard. There's a little crank here. We can turn the crank and there he is. He is surfing. It's amazing. The squirrel and this fox here look like they have a interesting friendship. We've seen some different styles of jackalope today. Here's the zombie, zombie jackalope. This is Grizzly Macabre Incorporated. You see this Jacob sheep here has a very nice collar. I look down here. There are clown fashions. There are clown outfits where you can turn any, any, uh, 16 by 18 inch baby doll into a clown. This anatomical model here. Looks like you can actually remove the different organs. I'm not going to. I'm afraid if I pull one thing out, it all come uh, all come tumbling down. I wonder what sort of disease this is. Oh wait, it says this is uh, this is actually a, a drug advertisement for Zizol. What does Zizol fix? What kind of disease does Zizol help you with? Leave a comment in the comment section. These great vintage Halloween costumes here. Look at that one. That little brightly colored devil. The Delaware Mortuary Museum here. It's very interesting artifacts, funeral artifacts. A little teeny tiny baby coffin there. I think this would be like a uh, temporary like a uh, wicker coffin. I always like these. These are um, used as display models for uh, for coffins. Uh, so they just have like the corner so people can see kind of what it is without having to like drag out the whole giant coffin. And funeral clothing, it's uh, easier to put on. Actually, the back will be open so you can just slide it on. And uh, it seems like a good idea. It seems like you'd be able to maybe wear that in your life but it actually, I think it actually stays open in the back, so it doesn't completely cover you. Just, just the part that shows. I have Rainy Day Revival from Atlanta, Georgia. They have a permanent store uh, where they sell oddities, and then an oddities museum that is uh, pretty amazing as well. Yeah, they always have a lot, of, a lot of fun and interesting things. Yeah, they have a lot of very strange freak animals at their museum. And some of these are actually for sale here. This is a uh, a two-faced calf for uh, 4,800, and then a, you have another two-faced calf there. You can see he's actually got two noses, two noses there, and uh, one mouth. So I guess yeah, main thing he has two of is the nose there. That's crazy. Oh look at that! There's a full body, full body to it a calf up there for 6,000. Yeah, look at this spider, spider sheep here. Look at that! And look at his face. He has like a, like almost like a creepy like human face to him. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at the size of the sheep here. The sheep has a bigger head than me. Is this not the biggest sheep in the entire world? And the big fluffy Jacob's ram up there. Let's stop over here at the Art Attack booth. How are you doing, Kate? Hey, living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> the little cryptid beanie there. It's got Mothman and the Fresno uh, Fresno Nightcrawler on it. Yeah, lots of fun stuff here. Yeah, look at this sheep here with the uh, with the uh, tongues and tentacles coming out of its head. Second, here we go. <laughs> Started. Let's start it. 
Hold on, I hit something soft. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Everybody ready? Snap on there tightly, painfully, because it's a trap, sir, like marriage. Now look! <laughs> standing on a machete ladder there. In the next balance delicately, precariously upon the razor-sharp edge of each blade, she makes her way to the top, and once there, she will let me know right away. All right, here I go! And... <laughs> Balloon animal, Miss Malice, when you're ready. Oh, that seems dangerous. Flip me off. All right. <laughs> now, it's not enough to put her inside the casket of doom, is it? We need what? More danger. More danger it is. I have these three solid hardwood blades right here. I'm going to start out by putting uh, this looks like a good spot. Put that one there. All right. I brought these four razor sharps rated edge metal machetes right here, and I'm going to put each one of these right in here, like so. Now, my friends, as you've been watching me do this, you've been noticing that each sharp object goes in, but yet no blood or viscera comes out. Got this in. Go, go, go. Get in line. There we are. Now I know some of you gentlemen. Hello there. Perhaps <laughs> I meet someone. It's full of our social media at Freak Show Deluxe. Dot com. And our buddy Artie Dodger has the next show coming up. So we got the art of Jimmy Mendoza here. Some fun stuff. Look at this here. This is a like a super is that beaker? Super buff beaker there. Oh yeah, what's it say? Meep. Oh, and this one's good. The Predator. Like the Predator monster, but his face is a slice of bread. This is Cobble Creek Taxidermy. They have some of the cheapest taxidermy I've, I've seen on planet Earth. I've bought some from here. Like you see these giant, like like head mounts here. Like that's 350 for that big one right there. Like just very very reasonable prices. And some fun stuff here as well. You've got a woodchuck there, and he's actually got a piece of wood in his hand that he is attempting to chuck at me because he's a wood chuck. How much wood do you think he could throw at me? A peacock is interesting. I don't think I've seen anything with that sort of coloration, either alive or dead. Oh, it's, look at this terrifying baboon here. You don't want to mess with him. Some killer art here. It's very cool pictures. Love the coloration on these. You're saying this is, this is your wife here? several of the pictures, uh, either wife, or, and I've got best friends I paint, and, uh, yeah. Tune them all into terrifying creatures? Of course, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, evens and oddities here. Some interesting stuff. Look at the little baby duckling with the bloody human head. And, uh, these are, these are striking. These are, like, physical abnormalities that you can hang on your wall. Some fun little ducklings here. This is the Live Laugh Toaster Bath duck. Oh, he's in the bathtub. He's uh, got a little little rubber ducky of his own, but unfortunately it doesn't look like things are going very well for him because he's also got a toaster in the bathtub. And this is the murderer duck. See the crime scene there? The chalk outline. Is that how a murderer, is that how a murderer dresses? <laughs> The all-seeing pufferfish here. Look at all those eyeballs on those pufferfish. These ballerina frogs here. This is the boar queen and the rabid queen bobcat there. There's the skeletorium. Some beautiful tableaus here. The different insects. The spider there. Some butterflies. Very interesting scenes here featuring rodent skeletons. This is the uh, the swoop bike. And then uh, the little steampunk, steampunk shack there. And this is the insect carousel. The different bugs there. The big beetle. We've got the uh, butterfly. Oh, look, there's a spider. The 
velvet apparition here. Some very cute little knickknacks, little cats, some skunks there. Oh, I think I have. I think I have this one at home. Some very fun uh, blow mold Halloween items. More of those vintage Halloween costumes. Look at those pumpkins. Look at this witch pinata. Look at her big, big witch chin. It's uniquely morbid here. These little dolls, these little rabbit dolls. Oh, the fox girl there. Look at these. These are called blinking bobs. And there's the mama bob there. Interesting little creatures. I think these are like made out of like like vertebrae. A scavenged heart. You see this uh, uranium glass. It's like radioactive glass. I don't think it's radioactive enough to like like kill me, but uh, <laughs> very interesting to have uh, something you eat off of. Covered in uh, uranium. Another bowl, a little red bowl down there. Oh, look at this. This giant eyeball here. It's giant anat anatomical eyeball. It's got a little, little, little baby relaxing right there. This is, things got weird. And they did indeed. Look at this. This is a cupy lamp. Look at that. That is pretty, pretty amazing. I like this too, this globe of constellations. Little baby down there. Chalkware monkey. This is the Gravestone Girls. This is a respectfully hand replicate colonial New England tombstones. And that's actually really really cool because these are like taken from actual tombstones i love some of the old symbols you find on these like this 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 symbol here you see on graves is actually supposed to be an angel that's portrayed as a skull with wings yeah, really really cool look at this you can actually get tombstone chocolate chocolate there in the forms of the old engravings Vintage cultural antiques here. Some really cool things. Some authentic clown shoes there. A vintage frog band. So there's a little alligator there in a dress. And a, uh, a ashtray made out of a lizard. For some reason I really love this little astronaut figurine there. And then look at that, it's like a crow in a suit. All right, so we got the merry dancing chimp there. Different buttons. You get two different actions. <laughs> oh yeah, they go side to side there. Flaps its hands. I think it's, oh, it wiggles its ears. Yeah, let's see what I love the I love the monkey noise. <laughs> That's pretty great. Thank you so much. All right, well, what have you guys been up to while I was wandering around? We bought stuff. You bought some stuff. So what is that? It's the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, he has some animal friends. He made a little raccoon friend. He's holding, so he's like friends to all the animals. Yeah, an opossum and an armadillo. Very cute. It's going to go on did our collage wall. Did you find what you were looking for, Carrie? I got exactly what I was looking for. Oh, yeah. I got some, some sideshow posters. Glenda, just Glenda. You are pickpockets and loose women. Yes. I am one of those things. <laughs> Satan's, like, Satan's house of terrors. He's one of those. He lives in the house. Yeah, I'm one of those pickpockets. Right? And then the flying saucer monsters. I oh, really look at that like monster. That one. Yeah, that's really cool. And the mu Dr. Ace Asylum's Museum of Terrors there. <laughs> I think there's one more, two more. Oh, there you go. The Monster Show. Yes. The yeah, Wolfman, really Frankenstein, cool. and the Creatures. You guys both like, both share a love for the creature. The Black Lagoon. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good finds. Good finds. Did you get anything? I didn't buy anything. Oh, no. I had nothing. There's nothing. Just re I saw a lot of stuff I liked. I really liked the hairless fox taxidermy. I was but, gonna say no little animal but friends. But I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to like. I'm still putting stuff away in the new house. 
I new house. I still have the whole but, office to untie. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to like, you know, break out too much yeah. cash today. But I figured I could put this on the collage wall. And there was at least a spot for it. So. But sometimes, you know, I, I just I pay attention to who the vendors are and I keep them in my mind, like yeah, I for return that. I or uh, or maybe go on their website and order something at some point. Jen, do you wanna do you wanna put your head in the hole? Sure. Wanna put your head in the hole? Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, get in there. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, so you're like a like a squid person there. I don't know. Why well, wave again? You can't see me. And then you're yeah, you can't see you wave. Like, oh. And you're like an insect person with uh oh. three breasts. Oh. <laughs> I assumed my final form. There you go. I, I can't see what I am. I'll just believe you guys. All right, we got another one over here. <laughs> this is like heads in jars over here. Yes, yeah, so your heads in a jar. Carry your some sort of severed Dracula head there. I think you're in a jar. And there's like a one-eyed hairy monster next to you. I look down here. There's like a little little Fiji mermaid. Oh, there's a hand. <laughs> so yeah, it's like you're. It's like you become. The cabinet of curiosities oh, wow. there. Did you see that? I'm like banking my glasses. Oh, watch it. Be careful. Don't yeah. break your glasses. It's dangerous. So thank you for joining me here today at the Oddities and Curiosities Expo. It's really good to be back at an expo. Like I said, it has been since, it's been about five months since I've been to one of the Oddities and Curiosities Expos. And I really like coming more often than that. So kind of bummed that I didn't get to more of them this year. Um, they just my other plans, my other travel plans, trying to be at the state fairs and whatnot, just didn't line up where they were in the same cities as me. But who knows? Maybe next year I can travel and go to every single make it goal to go to every single one next year. That would be a crazy plan. But who knows? We'll we'll see. Um, yeah, just follow them around the country, go to every Oddities and Curiosities Expo. Let me guys know what you think of that. Let me know if um, you know there's other cities you'd like me to visit as far as the expos. Um, we start looking at next year. I start looking at 2025, see when the, when they're going to be popping up then. But uh, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. If you do like these uh, videos, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more gets you a postcard once a month. Uh, also, we are a uh, bunch of new stuff in the Etsy shop. You know, we always sold the pins there. Now we're selling the press pennies, the Carpegger press pennies with my face on them. We got all sorts of stickers as well. Um, if you're interested in any of that, please check out uh, the description of this video. I'm still doing uh, personalized messages on Cameo. And of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.